everyone. Long time no see. So I've been pretty busy and kind of lazy to film, but today I got a special package in the mail um, from Japan and I want to go ahead and show you what I got. So there was somebody on a Facebook group that I am a member of that offered to purchase things uh, for us from Japan. Um, the um, member is Japanese and you know she just wanted to help some people out get some stuff that they can't get you know outside of Japan so I mean she was gracious enough, gracious enough to do that and not charge a fee for it so um, I had gone ahead and um, put an order in you could say this was probably in March maybe I think it was in March like mid-March um, so she offered to go shopping for you, um, like to Daiso or to like Loft, um, you know, some of the, the 100 yen stores and then other stationary places. So, um, you know, you, she would take pictures and then you would just pick out from the pictures what you wanted. And then, you know, you send her the money, she sends you the stuff. And because I, um, I did order, I didn't order a lot of stuff. I tried to keep it, you know, pretty minimum. Um, the reason why I only got the box today, and I don't fault her at all, she's just been really, really busy, and I'm not, I wasn't in a hurry at all, you know, to get the stuff. So, um, yeah, so I finally got it, and so here's what I got. This is my first time actually opening the box. So she was gracious enough to send me some snacks, so we'll go through that. So she sent me these, um, they look like they're biscuits, and possibly, um, Maybe there's some strawberry flavor because that looks like it would be strawberry. It's from Glico. Um, yeah, there's some kind of biscuits. Uh, she asked me, you know, what kind of snacks I like. I did tell her that I do like the sem is it sembe, yeah, sembe crackers, but I don't, I'm not sure if she was able to include them. So we've got some choco balls here, and of course, pocky wouldn't be Japanese without pocky, right? So I had her get stuff for me from Daiso and um, Seria, which are 100 yen stores. And this was at the time when they had the um, cherry blossom or Sakura um, stuff out, the seasonal stuff. So let's go ahead and, so I, got, I had her pick out the, um, what do you call this now? Oh, I know it's <laughs> written right here, Choyogami, origami paper for me. I'm, I don't think I have this one, at least in these styles. So she got me that. Um, oh, looks like she stuck a bunch of stuff in here. I guess she included this to stick all the stuff in there because I don't remember if I had asked her to get that, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's really pretty. All right, so you know what, let me take the box out of here because I have no room to put this down. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get in really close. That glare is not really good, but I'll hold it up here. Actually, I used to zoom out, sorry. So I've got some flake stickers here, which are really, really pretty. So this is what's on the inside. Sorry, my air conditioner is um, on again. And then we've got more flake stickers here. These are um, from Mindwave. So I think these are in particular are from Seria because I know that Daiso does not carry Mindwave stuff. Um, and then we have more of these little tiny um, message you know, packs their, um, looks like they're vellum envelopes. And then you get a little card to slip, you know, your message on the inside. I just thought these are so pretty. Okay, we're gonna skip that one for right now. Well, yeah, let's skip that one for right now. And then we've got this beautiful um, Sakura pop-up card. I think it goes like that, yeah. So pretty. I think I might have had her, oh, it's from Daiso. Oh, nice. Okay, because I was about to say I thought it was from Loft. Um, she purchased this from Loft. 
for me. These are the Kita strips and I just thought these were so awesome looking with the illustrations. Actually, I'll get up a little closer and get it in focus. There you go. Yeah, really nice. And then I love Charlie Brown and Peanuts. So I had her pick these sticky notes up for me so you can fill in the bubbles, the speech bubbles. It's just adorable. There's four designs, you get 30 each. So and then of course, this envelope here. It's a clear envelope to stick stuff inside. So we do have that. Stick these over here. Okay. All right, let's put this some more out. Here's some more of the um, Chiyogami paper and you get four different designs. Okay. I have some clear files and they're at the bottom and I'm trying to pull it out. They like fit in there exactly. It's a little difficult to pull them out. There we go. So I had her get me several of them. Oh, something's missing. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. For a second there, I was like, oh, something's missing. <laughs> All right, so I figured because they're clear files, they're flat, they're lightweight, so I chose the Demon Slayer one. I think there are two in here. Yeah, there are two. Okay, hold on, let me take it out. You know, when I went to Japan last time, I just didn't even think about clear files because it's actually a great souvenir to bring back. Um, I've been watching somebody on YouTube who, whenever she goes somewhere in Japan, she's always getting a clear file and the towels, the little towels there. So I can't remember this character's name. I watched the series, but I mean, I wasn't as invested in it. So these are the two different designs. So if you don't know what a clear file is, it's just, you know, to put in some um, loose papers, you know, um, to carry around, but a lot of people like to collect them. Um, kind of reminds me of when pencil boards are, um, were really popular back in the um, early 2000s. So like you could always find anime um, pencil boards, which I have a, a pretty, I have a collection of, you know, but I don't really see them selling them as much anymore. I'm not sure why. I don't know what happened. So I got that. That's funny. We've got um, another character. I remember, did I actually order these? I probably did. So there we go with the main male characters. He's annoying, <laughs> and so is he. So yeah, they're really nice. I mean, Demon Slayer was what, huge, I guess you could say last year? Yeah. Because I think now it's Jujutsu Kaisen, and then actually, I think the big one now is Spy, Spy X Family. So, I'm debating on whether I should go ahead and just subscribe to Crunchyroll so I can watch it <laughs> instead of waiting for it to show up on Netflix. Okay, so I did get um, two of the clear files of the Charlie Brown, which I love. Okay, so I got those. Let's move these chocolates out of the way. <clears throat> Sorry if this is a mess here. So I also had her um, look, you know, get stuff for me from the Gachapon machines or the toy capsule machines. And what I was really after were more like the pouches, the cute pouches, because I like using these in my purse. So I do have this one right here, which is really cute. Um, this was probably 300 yen, maybe. 
with the conversion rate now, that's probably that's less than three dollars. Um, because the dollar is strong right now. This is the best time to go to Japan, although you can't unless you're on a tour group. So, yeah, because your US dollar is going to get you a lot more than um, it'll go a long way, in other words. Okay, so. At Loft, I had her pick me up some of these friction stamps. Um, <clears throat> these are the different, hold on, let me get close enough, designs. So I got the weather, so I got the sun, cloudy, rainy, and then I thought this was hilarious, so I went ahead and picked this one up too. So I can use those in my journal. Um, had her get some of these stickers that, for me. So for instance, I got this one, it's so cute, top of the morning. Um, Snoopy again. I want to stick these on my laptop. Um, this one too. So, you know, Visco. Because I want to see your smile, girl with the camera. Um, I didn't realize how tiny these were. I can stick these on my phone. I'll probably stick one of them on my phone. So, let's get close. There we go. And of course, I got a Pikachu. Now that my nieces and nephew are into Pokemon, they're gonna be fighting over it. Because before it was just my nephew that was into it. And after them, the other two watching the um, TV series with him, now they're all into it too. So, okay. So I also had her pick this up for me, which is from Loft. Um, I believe it's from Loft. It, no, this is not. This is a this is a Gashapon um, prize. Yeah, it's a cute little Echo bag, you know. Oh no no no, it's not. It's not a Gashapon because it's got Snoopy on it. <laughs> there we go. So I think I did have her pick this up at Loft. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. <laughs> yeah, just a cute little bag. I can just throw in my purse. Um, but I probably won't <laughs> because it's I don't want to I don't want to ruin it. So let's put this back in here. It'll just it'll just go with the rest of my Snoopy collection. Um, it's not very big, but I don't have really anything from Japan because um, that's peanuts related. Because their peanuts is pretty popular over there, but the stuff can be pricey. So there. Um, this. Here's another one that I had her pick out for me. Um, it's a cord. I guess that's a cord holder. Judging from the way it looks. I think it is. And then what's this? Oh yeah. I think I had her pick these up too. See, because I said this is in March, so you know, sometimes you just forget what you order because it's been so long. Um, so I had her get these like keychains. So it's either that or I'm trying to remember. Maybe because I know that there was somebody who had ordered from her and then they didn't, they just changed their mind. They didn't want to get it. And she was stuck because she used her own money to purchase it for them before, you know, getting the money from them. So I offered to go ahead and just take it off her hands. I think that's what those are because I have no idea who those characters are. And then I have, um, looks like another gotcha pawn. Let's, where is it? It's kind of unusual because it's an, an actual egg. And they're usually in those like round capsule balls. Okay, let's see what this is. There we go. Oh, okay. I remember now. This is one of the ones that she had showed me um, that I could, you know, choose from, right? And so they're little birds, right? And here are the different birds that you could get. I was kind of hoping to get the lovebird because I used to have three of them that I hand raise. Um, and so this is the one that I got. 
it's just, you know, just a little cute toy. But I have a feeling that this makes noise because it's got, where are my scissors? Man, <sighs> gotcha palm machines are like black pits because you just will spend your money all the time. So, okay, so what does it do? Oh, it lights up, how cute. Aw, that is so adorable. Okay, so yeah, got a little birdie, okay, in an egg, <laughs> just kind of funny. All right, and then the last thing, the last two things. So here is another gotcha pawn prize, um, a pouch. And I believe this is probably like curry, meatball curry, I'm not sure. But anyways, this is really cute, pencil case. Like I said, I like using these in my purse. But the thing I was most excited about is the fact that she was able to get me now this is what we, this is called eyebrow coat. It's what I use to set my eyebrow powder because I, I have no brows. So I constantly have to use eyebrow powder to fill in my brows. And because I have very oily skin, the powder will slip off. So I have to have something to set it, to hold it in place, the powder, and not come off throughout the day. And Daiso was selling these years ago and for some reason stopped. And then they started selling a different brand, which is still good, but this is the best. And when I went to Japan, I was able to buy um, the ones in the tubes. I bought like six or seven. And then I was able to order some from um, the Daiso website here, Daiso USA. But they stopped carrying it again. So I'm, even though I've hoarded, I probably have about maybe seven or eight. I still freak out because I need to always know that I've got at least 10, you know, on hand because they're just so hard to find. So when she was in Daiso and I had, I asked her to look in the cosmetics section, I, she did a, a you know, she just took a big, um, a picture of it from far away. And then I had to zoom in and I was like, Oh my God, they have them. So I asked her to get me six of them. So she was able to get these, but she had mistakenly forgot to label them or put them, list them on the, um, customs form because when she went ahead and mailed my box customs or rather the post office called her back the next day and told her she needed to come back because she forgot to list a liquid that was in there when they ran it through the x-ray machine so she had to explain to them what it was and they were fine with that so they went ahead and shipped um, the box thankfully not charging her again to ship which would have cost a lot of money for me so yeah I was so happy that um, it was able to get sent out. So yeah, so that's the haul that I got from um, Japan. Doesn't seem like a lot, but you know, it's well worth it. I'm happy with what I got. So um, yeah, I've got a, another haul that I need to film. Hopefully I'm not gonna be too lazy tonight to do it. And I will try to get it up posted as soon as possible, okay? All right, everybody, I hope you've had a great week and a great weekend. Bye-bye.